everybody today we are going to make some diy k-pop photo cards that you can easily make and if you like what you see make sure to subscribe to our little family and thumbs up this video for a prayer because we are currently dying anyways let's be so the first thing you're going to need is a piece of plastic i got this off a container that i have but any plastic will work and we love recycling here on this channel hashtag reduce reuse recycle and you're also going to need any pictures of your choice. I got mine at Walmart and I did them on photo paper. Then you're going to need some scissors, a ruler, a white gel pen, and some contact paper that I am struggling to show you guys. <laughs> and you're also going to need some chrome rainbow paper, some holographic star transparent paper, some stickers, some washi tape, and any embellishments of your choice. So the first thing you're going to do is grab your piece of plastic and get out your ruler and start measuring the height and width of your photo cards. For me, I did 4 by 3 inches. I wanted my photo cards to be a little bit bigger than usual, but it's entirely up to you. And as you can see here, I already traced out the outline of the card and then I went ahead and just cut that out. So this is how it should look like and honestly you can just trace out anything that's rectangular, it doesn't even have to be measured out. And one thing with plastic is that if you trace it out on pen or marker, you can easily rub it off with your fingers. Next you can go ahead and grab your photo and mine was a little too big so I had to trim it out and crop it into place. Next, I got my chrome rainbow cardstock and used the template to outline a backing for the card so the chrome will be on the back of the card and the photo will be in the front. So I just went ahead and cut that out. So here I am showing you guys what I mean. So this part gets a little weird but just, just bear with me, bear with me. Because I printed my photos on photo paper, not a regular printer, the glue stick that I was supposed to use didn't really work. So what I did is improvise and used my contact paper to basically glue it on in a way and then peeling it off so the stickiness from the contact paper can transfer onto the photo so then the template plastic thing can adhere to the photo. Bam. I know. It's a little weird, but it works. It works. So overall, if you're going to print out photos on photo paper to have that glossy effect, use contact paper. If you're going to print out photos from a printer, make sure to do a glue stick that is transparent when gluing it on. So next, I went ahead and glued on my chrome rainbow cardstock onto the back of my card. And then I cut off any excess paper that was sticking out of the photo card, and that should do it. I think it turned out pretty cool, and it gives off that extra vibe for your photo card. For the next photo card, we're going to do the exact same steps as before, except for this time we're going to enhance the photo by using some star holographic film. I did this in a previous video, but I can quickly explain it here. I basically got this holographic star film from Etsy, I'll leave a link down below, and I just went ahead and peeled that off and covered the entire photo with it, and then make sure that there's no air bubbles in between, and then I went ahead and cut that out. So this is how it should look like. It doesn't look that great on camera, but in real life it looks amazing. Y'all gotta trust me on this, like, it is worth it for your photo cards, it makes them so, so pretty. So I just repeated the same things as before, did the contact paper, put the template on, and there you go! For this photo card, I went ahead and did the exact same steps as before, except for this time I wanted to do a two-sided photo card. So I picked out this Namjoon picture where he's on a hiking trail, I believe, and I just glued that onto the back of a cloud photo that resembled the first photo, so I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool. And then I got my white gel pen and just added some little outlines and some little asterisks, and yeah, that's what I did, and it turned out pretty cool.
For these cutesy photo cards, I went ahead and did the exact same steps as before and just cut out a picture of Jimin and added some little cute washi tapes and stickers that I had. So what I did here was to use my glue stick and glue on to the front of the sticker so then the front side can be sticked on. So this is how mine turned out. I think it turned out really cute and very personalized. And just so the stickiness of the stickers doesn't stick onto your hand, I went ahead and got my contact paper and covered the back side of the photo card and cut that out. And this is how it turned out. For the last photo card, I decided to do an Instagram theme, so I went ahead and got my ruler and measured out the lines and points that I wanted to connect to. Just so I can make a rectangle box, just like you see on Instagram. Next, I decided to draw on the little heart and the comment sign and the send and bookmark save sign that Instagram has. And I just drew that with my gel pen. So this is how it turned out, and then I did the exact same steps as before. So I went ahead and did the contact paper, and then peeled that off, and then used the template to put onto the photo, and that is it! So that is it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If y'all want to recreate any of my DIYs, please tag me on Instagram, Twitter, or Kpop Amino. And if you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe to our little family and help us grow. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!